Hey there, guys. What is going on? Sloppy here. I think I just said up. What is going on? Sloppy here. Um, <laughs> ooh, okay. Um, yes, welcome back to some more Minecraft on the Xbox. But you guys may notice something differently. I accidentally just removed my ability to jump because I was playing with controller settings. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, some very, very exciting news. I was doing some research. Um, as you may know, I recently invested, well that's that's a bold word for it. I recently, I need to, um, I need to just, I need to, I need to, this is a fun way to show you guys what I just did. Um, Uh, I recently just bought a Nintendo Switch. I'm very excited about it. I've been playing um, a lot of Mario Kart and Animal Crossing. I'll be honest, it's taking up a lot of my time. It may have been a bad idea from a work productivity standpoint, but I've been having an absolute blast. And uh, I was wondering, I knew there was a version of Minecraft where you could play across all your devices, but I never really looked into it. Um, anyway, I finally did, um, and I found out basically you could buy a realm and then access it from any device you wanted. So you could play on your computer, on your Xbox, on everything. And it's actually pretty up to date. So it's already in 1.14. It has bees. It has all of that stuff. So welcome. Um, I, I was able to upload this world. This is now on a realm, which means I can play it on my switch. I can play it on my computer when that's eventually fixed. I'll post an update about that later. Um, and I'm just really excited. Um, this is really cool. So we're a few versions ahead of the last time where we were. Um, and there's just a lot we can do now. First of all, you might notice the water looks way better. But a lot of stuff looks way worse. Unfortunately, this version does not run great on the Xbox. The way the Xbox Minecraft is set up is that um, there's Minecraft Xbox One Edition, which is a few updates behind but is really well optimized and then there's minecraft which is this version which you can play with all your devices and whatever and unfortunately it is not updated it is not optimized great so i'm running it on really low settings right now which is why some stuff looks pretty ugly i'm gonna play with that in the future but i just want to get it running to be honest with you anyway um there's a lot of other fun awesome stuff let's go down here there's a lot of other fun, awesome stuff. You can see I've been playing around with some different designs. Um, but one of which is we finally have the Bubble Vader. <laughs> we finally have the Bubble Vader, which is so nice. This makes it so much easier. Um, and I'm really excited about that. There's also, you know, all the other update stuff, which is really great. Um, but we'll play with that all in time. First of all, I want to get the storage sorted. Um, it defaulted all my chests to this, so I've been going through, correcting the chests. To be honest, it's been actually kind of nice because it's forced me to organize. You know, it happens. Um, I'm going to get all my chests set up. I want to do a little bit of building. I want to get a little bit more structure in here. Um, I'm also thinking maybe a roof. Um, I also want to get some building done out here um, because I just feel like nobody, nobody feel bad for him. He was, he was a jerk. He was trying to break my door. Um, I also just want to get some building done out here and get some... Uh, some structure in place. I'm really excited though. This is really cool. I uh, did not know this was possible. I can now, you know, you can play on your phone, which is crazy. You know, you could just do so much. And uh, this also means, you know, when the thing updates, we'll be able to get the new nether stuff, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited. I think I also fixed the issues I was having with my microphone, although I'm not totally sure about that. Hopefully. That is good. Anyway, let me do some work. I also uh, I also managed to um, finish this. I got enough gold to finish this railway, so it goes all the way to the zombie farm, um, which is working. It's working good. I would show you guys, but there's not much of an update. It's working fine. I updated it because um, the water elevator is broken. Um, it's working pretty well. Um, no complaints. I don't know why I had to give you this update. It's fine. It's good. Don't worry about it. It's getting me levels. Also, I got some boots. They have thorns on them, which is weird, but it's good. It's good. How do I do this? This is it. Right. It's different buttons now for some, for some reason. 
Well, I <laughs> had forgotten that these guys are now in my games, I guess. Um, these raider parties. Um, I don't think I can actually fight them right now. I think I would get absolutely smushed. So we're going to avoid them. Um, that's fun. That does mean we have... I mean, I guess that makes sense. We are... We are up to date. We just don't have snapshots. So we have bees and we have villagers that are like updated. Um, which villagers are so powerful now. Like we should really try and find a village. We should really try and find a village. That should be like a priority. Um, yeah. The thing is, I'm scared about generating... Well, here, here's my qualm right now with doing too much exploring. Oh, these guys are really fast. Uh, my qualm about doing too much exploring is that... Um, I feel like to get villagers back to our place, we would need to bring them through the nether to save time and space. Although, well... I, I should look in the immediate area, I know that, but it, it's just one of those things, like, I don't want to go too far out and generate nether because I want to use the new nether. But then I'm like, well, that's sort of dumb. I don't know. I'm torn. I'm just saying words. I don't know why I went through the doors. Um, anyway, look at this. Organized. We even got one left over. This very small storage will not serve us very long. I don't know why I'm yelling. It won't serve us very long, but this is sort of not meant to. This is sort of like a really quick storage room um, that functions. So we are going to have a bigger one eventually. So without further no, um, what am I saying? I don't know why I'm uh, I'm getting confused. I was going to build a staircase. Yeah, I, we should really work on finding a village very soon because villagers. What am I I'm pressing all the buttons wrong? Villagers are really great. Um, I mean, if we found a village, we could just build, like, a quick farm over there. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. As they would say. Yeah, we should look around. Uh, there is, like, there's actually a, a guardian temple. Like, an ocean temple just past there. This is actually kind of a really nice area. Um, also, I, I feel like I already mentioned sort of the plan... Um, I have a lot of plans, but basically, um, I'm not going to worry about keeping this desert. We're actually going to dig out this desert because we're going to do something a little bit, uh, a little bit weird with this area. I'm really excited about it. You can see my render distance is actually quite low right now, um, to save so I can run at a decent frame rate. Anyway, we're going to destroy this desert, so I'm just going to be digging it, you know, casually throughout. Um, so you may see it sort of come and go. I do feel like I need to build an actual sort of tree farm area. I think I might do it over there and use sort of that area. Anywho, I'm going to um, stop talking. Actually, that might be an idea for right now. We do need a lot of trees. Do we? I don't know. Might be an idea. I'm going to stop talking now and build something. Or do something. Just do anything that's not speaking right now. So, this is finally sort of coming together. Um, yeah. Um, I was picturing sort of more small rooms like this. Um, so, like, very tight quarters, but each room sort of has its own vibe. Here, I've sort of got these hallways. Um, I, I definitely want to fill up these spaces. So, like, here's my bedroom. Maybe we put, like, some glass there. I, I just want everything to feel super connected, you know? Super connected. Um, but we've got these sort of walkways down, um, and, you know, we've got lots of space to sort of do stuff in these walls. You know, whether that's little farms or just little decorative rooms, we can get really, really weird and creative. Um, so my first idea was that the staircase would come down over here. Um, so I was thinking, you know, it'd come down and, and end up sort of like where we collect the sugar cane. I basically was trying to get a staircase down to this area. I wanted it to be connected. It didn't quite line up um, how I wanted it to, so I ended up um, sort of just opening up this space and sort of having a little lookout. So I, I don't know where this will lead or what it'll go to, but, you know, we've got this cool sort of area where you can just sort of browse. You can just sort of browse. Yeah, sure. Um, but if we come down this way, this really opens up, and um, that's sort of what I wanted 
I think um, we're going to have like a few more. I think we're going to build another sugarcane farm. Um, once we get elytra, sugarcane is going to be really, really valuable because that's how you make rockets to fly around with. Um, and right now, this sugarcane farm is good, but it's not like crushing it for us. Um, one thing we could do is add more observers. That would really help. I also think if we sort of just duplicated it, the nice part is also we could just use the exact same. I mean, we could may or less have it as long as we want, but we could use the same minecart. Um, so I think that'll be really great. Whoops. Um, I think that'll be really great. So we'll sort of probably extend this down. Um, but we've got some cool space here. So we could really open up these walls if we want and just have like a lot of room down here, which I think will be pretty cool. Um, one thing I definitely want to do is start getting rid of like the dirt and stuff because that's pretty, that's pretty bad. Um, yeah, I, I sort of want to get like a working floor in. Um, yeah, I'm also going to get rid of this ladder. Um, I, I don't really need like a, a ladder. What I might do is get some sort of quick drop. We ugh, The thing is, we don't really need to get down here quickly. We just don't come down here that often if we're not like doing something. So we'll probably just, um, yeah, sort of get rid of that. Anyway, let me, let me sort of rough this up a little bit. We want some andesite in here. Um, yeah, we're going to sort of rough up. I think we're going to use sort of like a mixture like this for down here. And we'll probably mix in some wood accents like this, but we want to keep it pretty stone. Pretty stone heavy because we want it to feel very like basement-esque. Um, but yeah, we'll probably expand this out. I just wanted to get sort of a rough thing in place. And I think we got that pretty neat. I like these staircases. Once we start adding rooms, I think it'll feel a lot better. Um, sort of like it does over here. You can see these rooms are sort of finished. And they just add like a lot of like cool little like nooks and crannies. So I think we want a lot more of that. One thing I definitely want to get up and running is actually a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a potato farm. I kind of want to get that going because right now we've been relying on, right now we've been relying on this, um, right now we've been relying on this for our food, which works. Um, it's just going up, feeding them. Like if we got more cows in there, it'd be better, but going up, feeding them is kind of annoying. So I kind of want to get a little potato farm going. I think like right around here might be good. I also kind of want to just see where this is. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know what blocks I want for this though. We'd probably want to frame it with wood maybe. Um, let's use, let's use the dark oak maybe. Let's like frame it with wood. Mm, do I want, I feel like I probably want this like all the way around. Yep, 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 yep. So this is sort of how I build. I just sort of roll with what I think might look okay, and then, you know, see if it actually works. Um, and then, I don't know. I feel like fences might be kind of a cooler option than just doing glass there. Let's see. Do we have any fences? We do. We do have some. Let's go. Now, the only thing is I really don't want stuff to be able to get in there. I don't think anything will with that. Let's see how it looks from in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll de probably decorate up the bedroom eventually. Um, but yeah, I think a potato farm would be really good. And it gives me a good chance to show you guys. I mentioned the zombie farm earlier. That was the last episode I recorded um, before upgrading the world. And I was going to put that out, but it's kind of probably super boring. So let me show you guys my zombie farm. I put a railway, railway, um, I put a railway over to it um, because I figured I didn't really, I was gonna put an enchanting setup over there and I probably will, but I thought, you know what, for now, let's make a cool tunnel. It's also next to the, um, the, um, <laughs> that's probably annoying. 
It's also next to the uh, Woodland Mansion thing. So that's pretty exciting. That's pretty exciting. Yep, 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 yep. It's really slow. Um, it's really, really slow. I'm pretty low on gold. The other thing I found um, when doing this is that it was actually pretty quick before I updated. So I don't know if they slowed down the railways or how that works. Anyway, very simple. I happened to find a zombie spawner over here. Zombie spawner. Um, I happened to find a zombie spawner and yeah, they're going down here. Um, they're getting into the water stream. They go up, they go around, and they drop down here. And uh, then they're a one-hit kill, which is why I have this on me. Um, and then they're a one-hit kill. Um, very simple, very easy. Except that guy. Those strong ones. Uh, very simple, very easy, and they're dropping potatoes for me. Um, very simple, very easy. Yeah. Zombie flesh, I guess, eventually will be tradable. That's sort of why I'm storing it. Um, it'll be tradable. Anyway, um, yeah, it probably could be more efficient. I don't know. It's sort of a really easy starting, you know. It's a really easy starting thing. Um, just want to show you guys how terrible this is. Let's, uh, whew, inventory management, huh? Um, I actually came over here just to get the potatoes, but... Um, I do want to show you guys just how sort of ugly this is. Yeah, so there's a glass tube coming up and out. I, uh, I didn't want to dig it down because at the time there were bubble streams, so I had, like, sign elevator and it took forever. Um, but yeah, I'll probably cover this with something, like a structure. I think it'll be pretty neat. I also kind of like that you could just see, you know, um, if there is ever somebody else on the server. I don't know if I'll ever do that, but, you know, you'll be able to sort of see it, which is kind of neat. Um, maybe I should put that trap door here to stop stuff from coming in. Um, anyway, yes, let me go plant some potatoes. I just want to show you guys this real quick. It is not bad. It, um, it's not like the quickest XP farm, obviously, but you know what? It works, and for the start of a, of a, of a world, it's, it's pretty good to have XP. Anywho, I'm going to stop talking now because I've been talking for so long. Yeah, there's probably a more efficient way to do this. Um, sometimes they fight the water. But anyway, yes, I'm going to stop talking. This episode has been a really weird one. I've just been really enjoying playing, to be honest with you. And, uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of, like, upgrading of basic stuff that, you know, we can now upgrade because we're in this, uh, ooh. There's a lot of that happening. A lot of, like, weird stuff going where it probably shouldn't, but now is. Um, but yeah, I've been doing a lot of, like, weird upgrading of stuff, but I do now have... This actually goes nowhere. This just drops down there now. Um, we do have a tiny little potato farm. Yeah. This is, uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do, like, a nature -y oasis back here. You know? We have this, like, sort of little space. And I thought, why not do something kind of, like, different and weird? I'm not, like, thrilled with it. I think it could be a lot better. And I think one of the things is, like, the, uh... Non-fancy leaves look pretty bad. Um, but I feel like it's something we could sort of work on over time. Um, actually, actually, now I'm thinking... I'm going to put a water source here. Because it looks like that one block might not be getting it. Anywho. Um, yeah. So this will be kind of handy. Uh, we can come and... You know, get all of our uh, all of our potatoes, but we might upgrade this sanctuary over time. I don't know. Um, I sort of didn't want to do anything too elaborate with this back area, cause um, I don't know. I just feel like it should have been like the end of this area. So I did a little nature oasis. Maybe we can expand it this direction. We can make it like a whole little garden area. Um, you know, maybe on this side we'll have carrots eventually. But uh, you know what? Actually, I'm now thinking. Um, I found some 
Yeah, we're actually gonna grow. Uh, we're actually gonna grow a pumpkin. I have some melon seeds too. I just realized while this is sort of filling in, while we're waiting on these potatoes to become a little bit bigger, we might as well grow some of our other ingredients. But yeah, cute little nature area. And then I also did a little bit more work. It's the other way. A little bit more work down here. Um, one thing, if you're a keen OCD observer, um, you might have noticed this whole area was one to the left of where the mine entrance is. <laughs> so I've corrected that. I moved uh, this wall over one. I also sort of roughed up the wall as well as the ceiling. That looks a lot better. So we will be doing this across the whole place. I just, um, I haven't really been doing it just because I didn't want to do walls that might get moved sort of thing. I cannot pick up this water. It will not let me pick up this little block of water that I placed there. Um, but yeah, this looks lots and lots better. I also um, sort of filled in this area, roughed it up a bit to sort of make it look like it's actually supporting up there. I think this is all looking pretty good. Um, there's a lot of work to do, but you know what? We did a lot today. Um, a lot that I didn't even show you because it was sort of mindless clicking. Um, but I'm really excited. I think this will be really cool. I'm really liking the base. I like where we're at. And I look forward to continuing this place. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think if you're um, as excited about this as I am. <laughs> This is also cool because uh, once my computer's fixed, I can continue operating on the same world, um, which is very, very exciting. Don't hit my cows, guy. Don't hit my cows. I think if I kill this guy, I get bad omen. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um... Oh, right. They don't get particled, I don't think, right now. I'm about to get a trident thrown at me. Wow, this is uh, this is crazy. Okay, um, yeah, we need to get a house. Now that I'm not low, now that I'm no longer safe because there's guys coming out of the water to attack me, I really need a house with walls and stuff. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of those comments down below. Subscribe for more, all that jazz, and I will catch you guys. <laughs> I threw my shovel because I pressed the wrong button. I will catch you guys in the next one. Ciao.